having an amazing week. Today we're going to do a video where I'm going to show you some of my favourite, favourite stretches because it's important to work out, obviously, but when you work out it's also really important that you stretch, that you maintain your flexibility and that just helps along with your recovery and it also helps with your performance. I'm also going to show you um, some foam roller self-massage techniques as well. So I'm going to show you some of my favourite stretches that you guys can do just to increase your flexibility. My first stretch that I'm going to do is going to stretch my hip flexors and my quads. So basically, you bring one foot out, one foot in front, and then you're just going to like stretch. And you should feel it like here. You want to be able to hold each stretch for 15 to 20 seconds. So if you feel like it's too much, then um, shorten your stretch and then over time you'll just get more flexible so you'll be able to go further. So the next stretch is the butterfly stretch. So basically you bring your feet right up to your like pelvis and then you kind of sit and then you want to try and bring your knees as close to the ground as possible. So you can do this by pressing down with like your elbows or if you have a workout buddy, ask them to gently press down um, like on your knees. I always do this stretch before I do some squats just so that I feel like more flexible when I do my squats and it just helps me with my technique as well. Also once you're stretching like the hip flexors in your hips, I think another good one to do is the like a frog um, position. So basically you bring your legs, and this looks really weird, but you bring your legs like as far apart as possible and you kind of want to bring your chest like down to the floor so your bums, unless you're like really flexible, your bums like sticking out so yeah, that one looks really weird another great one that I find that stretches your glutes and your hip flexors is, uh, I'm not really sure what it's called but basically this leg is going to extend straight back behind you and then you're going to keep try and keep your chest upright to start off with and then if you want a deeper stretch in your glutes then lean forwards and just rest the weight onto your onto your leg okay so then the next one is going to stretch like your uh, like your abs and also it's going to stretch like your back hip flexors so it's called the swan stretch you've probably seen it in yoga you basically go down your feet are like hip width apart and you're just gonna keep your hips on the floor and extend bringing the chest upwards and looking upwards too keep your arms nice and straight I always find that sucking my stomach in as well also helps stretch the abs. So if you guys need to stretch your abs, then do this exercise and also suck your tummy in because you'll really feel it. Okay, so once you've stretched your back and your stomach like that, another one I really like to do is rounding your back off. Then you're just gonna push your back upwards into an arch and you should feel the stretch like here and also in your back it's a really nice feeling keep your head down suck your tummy in and then do the reverse so this time you're like bringing your tummy down as far as you can lifting the shoulders up head up suck your tummy in and your bum is like sticking out too Okay, so then you're going to touch your toes. You can do this standing up. If you find that too much, you can do like one leg in and then stretching across. The toes pointing to the ceiling and you're just going to stretch over as far as you can, trying to bring like the chest closer towards your legs. And then my last favorite stretch is child's pose. So you go down, sit on your feet, extend the arms outwards, extend them as far as you can and then head down and you should feel it 
all along here and it's just a really nice like relaxing stretch. Okay, so of course these are just like some of the main stretches that I do, but this will depend on the type of session that I'm doing. So if I'm doing like an upper body session, I'll do some more like tricep stretches, um, some wrist like stretching and stuff like that, just so that I have like an extra warm up and especially if I'm doing back, I'll also t spend more time stretching my lats and doing some more like lower back stretches. But overall, these are the kind of stretches that I would recommend to do every day if you feel like you want to increase your flexibility. Okay, so this bad boy is, I'm, I'm going to like put it out there, it is not a comfortable thing to do. I think the only time I like the foam roller is when it's on like my back, but when it's on the quads or any other part of my body, I do not particularly enjoy it but I appreciate that it does really help the training and it just helps alleviate any knots and it just means that you're not gonna have problems down the line. So what you wanna do for your for foam rolling is roll on that area back and forth for as long as you feel you need, but for at least 15 seconds and just make sure that you take the time and it's, up, it's really up to you how long or how hard you want to go on the foam roller. So we'll start off with a few of them. So the first one is like hip flexors slash quads. So I'm basically gonna bring it up to my knees, lean forwards, and then you're just gonna roll, I don't wanna hit my mirror, roll back and forth. If you wanted to get inside the quad, what you wanna do is bring this out more to the side. You're gonna kind of you always look funny doing these, don't even feel embarrassed. Um, and you kind of want to extend out and then roll. So your other leg is like not involved at all, but you're just gonna roll and go into it. Like literally guys, this is so painful. Well, let me just sort this crumpled mat out. Um, <clears throat> so this is going to stretch or this is going to massage the IT band. A lot of people don't stretch the IT band. So here you're just going to bring it out to the side and you're going to go up. Oh my god! And, oh my gosh. Literally it hurts so much. If you want, if you feel like that's not enough then you can put added pressure. No! Oh, not happening. <laughs> so I always like try and lift some of the weight off by putting this leg forward and then just like putting quite a lot of weight on my arms because it just hurts so much. But yeah, just roll back and forth. Uh, do that a few times. And then you're good to move on to the next one. You don't want to spend too much time here. So we're going to do uh, foam rolling for your glutes. So for your glutes, you basically just want to like sit on it. <clears throat> if doing one at a time is too painful, you can do both and just like roll over and like go a little bit to the side. Or you can put your foot over and then just kind of roll over like that. With foam rolling, I always feel like it's best to just not tense up, just kind of relax as much as you can and just kind of let the muscles go loose so that you can really get deep into the muscle. So hamstrings are a really nice one. Basically, these don't hurt that much. Um, you basically just sit on it and just roll. So again, if you feel like this isn't enough, you can just put one leg and then put the other one on top and then just roll back and forth. Okay, then you've got calves, so same principle. And again, if you feel like that's not enough, put one leg over the other. Try 
try and go also like at different angles. So try and like go to the side, go outwards, go inwards. <laughs> So that's pretty much done for your lower body. The next one is like rolling your back. So you're gonna like put the roll up here on your back and the roll. This feels really nice. This actually feels like a massage. Oh, my hair's getting cool. And then you can massage your lats. So again, you're just gonna bring this like there and you're just gonna roll roll back and forth I hope you found that useful I do recommend getting a foam roller I think they're really useful but just know what kind of pain threshold you have again because like for me if I ever get a massage I know that I get it very soft so I, I wouldn't go for something as hard as this I just couldn't find my own one but if you do feel like you get knots really bad and you really need that massage, then get something a little more rigid. This is actually like hardcore solid plastic. And if you wanted something that got into like more like nooks and crannies, you can either use a tennis ball or you can buy those spiky balls that basically do exactly the same thing, but it means that they can get like deeper into the tissue and kind of like wiggle their way through. Okay, so that's it from me. Remember, these are just general stretches. I do incorporate more um, specific stretches depending on what kind of like exercise I'm gonna be doing or what training session I'm doing. But these ones I will use throughout, so every single day after every session and then obviously before a session two to warm up. Um, but yeah, the foam rolling I don't do every day. I probably do this like twice, maybe once a week just to make sure that enough blood is getting to all of my muscles and if I have any like problems, it alleviates anything down the line. You can't do too much stretching, but you can do too little. So make sure you do it a little bit every day and that will prevent you from getting any injuries or anything down the line. Again, know your limits though. Don't go straight into doing splits. That's not what I mean. Um, but just, just keep it like fluid. Just start moving around a little bit more. Just try and stretch those muscles out. And it does really, really help. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.